Welcome to Mechnician. Today we're going to have a look at the JAL Test 23.2 version and specifically looking at a demonstration of a John Deere 4045 power generation. So here, stationary engine part of JAL Test can be used for anything from like air compressors to um, tower lights to power generation, water pumps, uh, topsoil mulchers, rock crushers, you name it. Anything that's got an engine in it and isn't moving. So here you can see some of the brands that we cover down the left hand side and today I'm specifically going to jump into the John Deere and the 4045. So the John Deere 4045 comes in a lot of different tiers as you can see on the right hand side. We've got everything from like you know tier 2 to even like you know tier 5 uh, level product. Uh, Gel test being a global product being used in over 110 countries do get access to things you know to emissions and that that might have not even be required in your country yet. So here you can see uh, left hand side we've got some special functions manually you can put in just a fault code or we're gonna do a full system scan right so let's come in just have a look even at just some of the special functions quickly so you can see some of the things you can do because gel test starts with fault code reading but goes a lot further. So here you can see we've got you know obviously running regens, forced regens, coating injectors, exchanging, um, you know, compression tests, uh, basically, you know, pretty good coverage on the, on the engine side across all the different, uh, tiers of engines. Let's, uh, let's come back and just choose uh, an engine and specifically let's take a look at, uh, uh, tier four final here. So here, when you connect to the engine, in this case, the tier four final version, you can see that we've got a few different ways we can connect up. Jaw test is great for giving you, you know, quickly, which cable you're going to need depending on which engine you're looking at kind of globally or the configuration, going to be a variety of different connections. Jaw test also has a multi-pin connector that enables you to connect up, you know, just without having the cable. Maybe you left it in the truck, maybe it's at the shop or with somebody else or you lost it. Uh, you know, not everything can be multi-pinned up to, but Jaw test does provide you with some instructions as well as the tool to be able to do that. Let's go and connect up to the engine. So now we're inside the 4045 John Deere and you can see the diagnostic menu. Everything from reading fault codes to calibrations and recording data is all inside the diagnostic menu. Let's go first and just read the ECU, have a look at what codes are present. So here you can see we've got, you know, about you know, a handful of codes. I'm not plugged in specifically to a machine. This is just demonstration data. But I can come in and take any of these and, you know, quickly select what that code is. And JAL test is going to bring me up three pieces of information. Not every fault code is going to have, you know, component uh, inf uh, technical information and troubleshooting. But that's a great thing about JAL test. With three major updates a year and, you know, the number one job title there being software engineer, there's lots of innovation going on. So there's always new data, new technical stuff, and there are three major releases a day. A, we a year, sorry. Three major releases a year. So here we can see in the fault code reading, we've got first the freeze frame telling us what's happening with that code. Is it still active? When did it fire? How urgent it is? In this case, we actually have some information on the component. So we've got the temperature sensor on the intake manifold. And the nice thing is you don't have to go hunting in Google or in separate systems. The information's all present in front of you. So I can come in, have a look, see the John Deere, you know, the, the sorry, see the pin pinout for this component. Uh, you know, see the resistance, understand basically how to, how to test it. And I can even go straight to the measurements. We'll save that for later though. And then I can get straight into the wiring diagram. If I want to have a look at how it pins up to the ECU, I can see that quickly and instantly. I'm still just in my diagnostics, not having to go outside, not having to even go back to my left-hand menus to even go hunt for it. Jaw test has a great user experience in putting the information right in front of you when you're going to need it most. So here you're going to see we've got the wiring diagram, nice and visual. You can come in and see the legend if you want to kind of understand what's what. Uh, we're just going to see, you know, basically it takes us right to that temperature sensor, able to quickly see, you know, pins up one and two and port number, pin number nine going into the ECM. And then you could also, if you wanted to find other items on the wiring diagram, I mean, you could simply just click on them and they're going to bring you the information on them. Uh, otherwise, you know, you can come back to the, the main menu here and you can search and, and hunt for stuff. Let's go back to the diagnostic menu. 
So perhaps that solved our problem, or perhaps we actually want to go with some fall code troubleshooting steps here that Jaw Test has put together. Jaw Test info and the repair information is all part of your license, maintaining your license, which you know enables you to get those three major updates, as well as all this technical information that's just great, helping you solve problems quickly and fast. Um, now let's come into the troubleshooting. We're able to see you know some steps that are here. Each one of the steps kind of has you know some processes. You know, let's let's signal value to range. Signal's too high. You know, there's a troubleshooting guide on signals. Let's say we completed that. You can kind of click those off and and just so you can keep track of what you're doing. You know, check if the fault code's still present. You know, taking you through the different steps. Is it still there? Go to step nine. No. Go to step three. You know, you can basically uh, take yourself through this and identify and work your way through the different um, steps to resolve the, the fault code. Okay, so now that's enough for just basic fault code reading. Uh, let's come back to the diagnostic menu. So obviously at, at the end of those uh, troubleshooting steps, it's gonna have you clear the codes. You ever had to just clear codes, you can also do that here. Uh, system data, you've got some information on the engine load profile. Uh, ECA, ECU data, giving you some basic, uh, you know, level of um, details on the machine. Let's go into live monitoring, though. So in live monitoring, you're going to find, you know, system displays. It's going to depend on model and brand what you're going to specifically see here. In this case, we've got three different systems laid out for us, which is great. First, you can see uh, we've got a fuel system, you know, quickly giving you access to you know, the details that you need to be able to understand what's happening. You know, here's my fuel consumption, uh, the start position, you know, the engine load, and so on and so forth. Next, we've got, you know, after treatment system view of the system. And then we've also got here, uh, you know, your DEF module. So great to be able to visualize what's happening in these systems. Uh, certainly makes it convenient. Just the same, if you need to go into live measurements, you can also do that. So here you can see we've got 190 uh, measurements on this engine. We can look at them at a group level. So whether I'm looking for things that are volume, pressure, you know, I can select uh, some of these that I want to have a look at. I can even take those and graph them quickly, get a look at what's happening while perhaps while I'm running this engine, uh, able to just take a look at uh, the status. I can take a look, bring them up as like a dashboard, you know, compare uh, different measurements. And lastly, the other thing you can do is you can actually set these um, and go and record. So you can record 90 minutes of measurements, uh, 90 minutes of data, 24 different uh, measurements, play it back just like a YouTube video, set triggers to be able to identify, you know, when I hit X pressure, you can quickly see what's going on, when faults are firing, see what measurements are in there. Lots of different ways to, to look at live data here with, with gel test. Actuating components, we've just got the one here in this engine. It's always gonna vary by machine and, and system. Uh, you can actuate the EGR valve on this. Uh, system checks, looks like we've got a lot here from compression checks to you know meter quantity measurement, uh, you know, whatever you can see. <laughs> Check the exhaust engine revolutions, lots of different checks. All of them operate the same way in the sense that there's a three-step process. I'm gonna show you a, a regeneration but there's three steps. The first thing it's gonna show you is what exactly are we doing? Then it's gonna, we're gonna look at those initial conditions, make sure things are right, and then we're gonna run the test, right? So that's basically the, the three steps that every one of these tests are gonna look like. Nice thing is, is the process and the instructions are so simple. And as you can see, everything kind of just flows here. You don't need some major training course or program to be able to learn how to use this. Um, it's, it's so well designed by gel test. Parameters here you can come in, you know, we can code the particulate filter, uh, code your injectors and exchanger injectors. Uh, the maintenance side, let's have a look here at the uh, after treatment system, right? So if we want to run a regen or reset or, you know, just clean the filter, uh, lots of different functions here that we can, we can execute. Certainly you need to be able to make the decisions on what it is looking to run, you need to have that mechanics background to be able to understand uh, what functions are required for your system. But in this case, you know, let's just take a look at a particular, a particulate filter uh, regen. 
So here it's only going to be uh, performed the measurement related particular filter indicates service mode. So this version that I selected here is for service mode. Um, we can come in, select it. it. We know it's going to run at high temperatures like it told us. And now it's looking for those initial conditions. So it wants to make sure that our engine speed, you know, it's got to be running, parking brake activated, you know, and obviously just demonstration data here. But it's taken us through all the different uh, measurements. Once you've got check marks next to everything, you're good to go. So a regen normally is going to be 45, 50 minutes on a real machine. Uh, in this case, it's uh, it's just a demonstration. You can see while the regen's running, lots of great information for you to be able to analyze uh, the current conditions of the, the system while it's processing. And then once it's actually completed, you'll see we're going to have great reports also to be able to take that data and store it. Inside of JALTEST, you do have a garage resource planner. Uh, what that does, you're able to store, you know, your fleet in there, all your equipment lists, and then any of these reports that you're capturing in this data, you can store that up against it. If you've got your own system, no problem. You can also produce this in a PDF and be able to take that data elsewhere. So that's how, you know, all these special functions basically work. Um, calibration, you can see we've got the EGR valve, throttle valve on the exhaust, and then the data recorder. On the left-hand menu, you notice we even doing our diagnostics. We really didn't have to go there because gel test makes it, you know, convenient to get that data in front of you. But if you needed things like came in here looking specifically for technical information, I mean, you can get that. I mean, here are all the different components, you know, and information on that uh, component. You can see it. Uh, you need any diagrams, you know, you can see quickly to the wiring diagram, you know, vehicle and vessel data. You know, pick and choose uh, the engine that you're working on. Uh, we were working on tier four final. All right, so you can see some basic specs, the engine distribution, you know, how the timing's working, uh, the belts, you know, some other specs basically on the system itself, right? tightening torques, um, you name it. Troubleshooting by systems, you can see also these bottom ones, there's a globe, that means you've gotta be connected to the internet in order to access them. Just too much data. The system itself requires 40 gigabytes on your computer with Windows 10 Pro to be able to, to execute. But here's some troubleshooting by system symptoms. Perhaps it's not firing a code, yet you still wanna go and uh, you need to try to figure out what's going on. So I'm gonna disconnect. Right, and with that, when we step out, it's gonna show me the report. I'll give you a quick look at what captured. So you can record the information, you can add a price to it, you can even add some comments or an audio recording. Uh, you can store that then. And in this case, you can quickly, I'll show you what the PDF will look like, but you'll see that everything we were doing was being captured. Right, so there's all the fault codes we saw. All right, we monitored the system, the after treatment, the fuel, right? There was the live monitoring we did of a few things. Then we actually went and ran a regeneration, capturing all that information along the way. So with that, um, that ends our demonstration here for today. So thank you for joining me. Uh, if you're interested in having a look at a gel test diagnostic solution for your business, we have solutions for off-highway, on-highway, agriculture, material handling, as well as marine. Uh, amazing solutions to help empower your service. Visit us at mechnician.com or you can reach us at 888-624-2240. Thank you.